<laughs> you don't even have a cash register. We're we're the first business. It's Venmo only. I don't know if I mentioned this, by the way, but when we were at Disneyland, I saw something garish that, that made me question my faith in humanity. It was a young lady. I would say she was probably in her early 20s. And she was wearing a T-shirt. On the back of the T-shirt was a QR code. Uh, and above the QR code, it said, this is my Venmo address. Lady, no disrespect, okay? You're at, you're at Disneyland. You're in line in front of me. We're about to pay 14 bucks for a uh, Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpin. If you're just, I'm not going to give you the money. You're just going to spend it on beer. That's money that I was about to spend on beer. Plus, we don't have um, Venmo in Canada. If you had your Wealth Simple cash code, I might consider shooting you a, a little runoff. You know, I always end up with a couple of extra cents in there. I didn't know you could do that, though. I didn't know you could just be, like, in a really expensive place and then put, like, give me money on your shirt. You see that here and there in California? People put their Venmo address on their cars? Just in their cars? Like, for driving? I don't understand. Listen, maybe we don't want to get into it. Hang on. Would you send someone a dollar for driving? I mean, maybe if their driving was like insanely bad, I would send them a dollar just so I could type a message that was like, fuck you. I wouldn't send them a dollar. I would send them literally like one cent. I would send them like the minimum to actually have the transaction go through. Or you could can, you, can you request them? Could I scan the QR code and then be like, give me $20? Or I'm going to talk shit about your t-shirt on my Twitch stream? That is not... Dude, that's not fair. You shouldn't open yourself up. That's like another attack vector. Dude, you're not wrong. Voice chat would go crazy. Pro proxy chat would go crazy on the road. Can you imagine? Did you see the clip of the guy in Florida? Who, um... It's a road rage, like, dash cam incident, just for the record. Uh... He's on the freeway, and then someone, like, merges in front of him, and he says, like, fuck you, or something like that. Then the guy in front of him throws a water bottle that hits his windshield, and he just gets a thousand yards stare. Um, and then he's, you just see him fiddle with, like, his, uh, where his cup holder is, like, the center console, for, like, 40 seconds, and he's, like, spinning a lock. Then he pulls out a fucking Glock, and the dude pulls up next to him, he just goes, bang! He takes one shot through his window, shatters all the glass, and then just gets like super scared and is just like leaned back in his chair, just going pop, 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 pop through his front windshield. Buddy, I'm just trying to get to Costco. Like the, the trigger discipline was negative 1,000, like negative int 32 dot max value. I'm not even worried if he shoots the dude that threw the water bottle at him. Like, I wouldn't do it. I would probably just, like, live and let live or whatever. But, like, don't shoot me. My ass is just driving. I'm just... <laughs> this is just the only way for me to get to the grocery store that has cheap food, man. You're right. Maybe I should stop giving people the middle finger, huh?